I say I'll care forever and I mean forever if I have to hold the sky crazy he calls me yeah I'm crazy crazy in love yeah, Sit out of the way Crazy He calls me Yeah I'm crazy Crazy In love I'd say I say I go through fire And I go through fire If you want it so it will be crazy he calls me So we are back and you've just listened to the musical presentation of Jazz Great. Gail Winters, who has joined us at our table with her son, Tripp. And Tripp, your mother is a legend in these parts, as we saw, but her legendary career extends way past the city limits of Lexington, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and you're a member of her band. That's right. We uh, are very fortunate, and um, I love playing with her musically. One of the only times we ever really get to hang out and talk and be together. And, and I tell you, it is so mutual. I mean, we have a good time. So uh, anytime you see we're tripping our playing, come on down and come on over and whatever. And because we're we're really having a good time, aren't we, son? Oh yeah. But I don't blame the goodness knows for my honeysuckle rose. When you're passing by, flowers droop beside, and I know. Reason why your much sweeter goodness knows. Well, I have another musical quiz, but this may be something that you can be able to answer, Trevor. Okay. So, if you were to describe your mother's career path, what single word or phrase would you use to describe it? I said she's one single word. I'd have to say blessed because she's blessed with such a great natural talent and voice, and she just. Music is, uh, I don't know, maybe even more primal of a language for her than English. You know, I think she learned it before she even learned words. She started getting up and singing, you know, from all the stories I heard from my grandparents. And well, actually, uh, this is a true story. I started at 18 months. I could sing any melody, but the but I'd make up words because I couldn't talk yet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in front of people singing, uh, my family tells me. Uh, at 18 months when we started, but I come from a family of musicians. If you didn't sing, you got left behind with grandma, and nobody wanted to be well, left behind. that's good motivation. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so you learned to sing really young, <laughs> really early. Wow, so let me, Tripp, let me ask you about those, your youth years, mm -hmm. and what do you recollect about her career as a child of Gail Winters growing up? Well, I remember uh, all these uh, musicians just showing up in the house, and me sitting there watching, you know, we were just talking about some of these folks, Dusty Paley and yeah, and uh, Hank Crawford, yeah, and uh, Cal Collins, Norman and Higgins Norman would be there, Higgins, and yeah. Boogie, and, Boogie Morton, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's actually funny because when I finally actually got into band in school, and I was at Crawford, and my band director, 
with a former bandmate yeah. of hers, Doug Oatley. Yeah. And my guidance counselor was a former drummer of hers. Merle. Merle Gastor. Yeah. <laughs> and I kept running into people that, that had played with my mom and um, and all that. So I was I had a, a lot of great support, you know, from my teachers because they, they they knew what, from whence I came. <laughs> I and then uh, Trip really had some good training with uh, you know taking. Well, besides even being in Africa and Ghana and learning their rhythms and all, as far as like djembe and all of that goes, as far as percussion goes, when uh, we'd be in New York, he'd study with uh, Grady Tate, Ben Riley, uh, <laughs> Bernard Purdy <laughs> from back in the 70s, you know, so he had uh, classes with, the, or, you know, he had those uh, moments, master classes with those guys, so uh, that kind of added to his what makes him so wonderful to play with and to sing with. <laughs> but there was always music, you know, when I was younger growing up and getting to hear those folks was just a real treat. But just you know, Madison. yeah, really and truly, he started really like a little baby, man. He'd pull out all the pants and start beating That's what I'm envisioning. About yeah. yeah, he did when he was just a tiny little tot, man. He'd be playing right along with us when we'd be rehearsing. He'd be there playing those little pants just like he was part of the group, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew Tripp during his college years, and we were at the UK School of Music together, and yeah. that's the memory that I have most of Tripp being in that lobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of the Fine Arts Building, and he was Living always there. just, even if he was in class, he was, you know, oh, really? the pencils were going, or the fingers, or the foot was tapping, or something, and that's just always remember. It's just, there was just always a beat going on yeah. about you at it all just, times. It, never it never goes away <laughs> that's just amazing so Gail let me ask you what yeah. was it like to be a mother of small children and how did you balance your musical career with your family well uh you know it, the thing of it was when I got married and, and of course had Tripp and Artie I, I thought I was going to quit you know uh, making music I said, well, the best way I can do that is be there for them all day long. When they go to sleep, I could go out and sing a little bit, you know, and come back, we'll have paid the money, and peacefully done all of that. So that's what got me started in doing it. And, uh, of course, uh, when we were here in Lexington starting out, man, the place was rocking all over town with music. I'd be singing at the old Phoenix Hotel. I mean, that's torn down now, right? You know, but the old Phoenix Hotel, and I'd go from there on my breaks and go down to the living room and sit in on my breaks. And then after hours, we'd go across the tracks and hear Mike, uh, you know, uh, shoot, Mike Allen and uh, Bobby Wilson and uh, Russell Hill, you know, in one of their clubs over there. And I mean, it was just, uh, just a musical adventure here in Lexington way back when. I guess jazz is my forte, but you asked me how I, uh, raising kids and doing that. But we would always talk about their music and their composing, and you know, we we had this this inner conversational thing going on throughout our whole lives together. You know, that's just the way it's been. Say I'll move a mountain, well then I'll move a mountain. If he wants it out of the way Crazy, he calls me Yeah, I'm crazy Crazy in love, I'd say And of course, talking about generational. Yes. Right? Well, uh... Of course, my mom and dad sang, and my dad was a was a minister, and he always said he had to pray and knee and dance his foot all on the same leg, you know. But and he and mom were singing, and then my three sisters came along, and uh, we sang as a family. But before that, dad and his brothers had a quartet starting in the '30s, and when they would they would sing, they actually they were singing still in their '80s. Finally, the last brother kind of, uh, you know, got to step into the brother that had retired's place. There were nine of them, so there was four. So when one would retire, the next one would be able to sing with the Chival brothers. And wow. they would sit down at a table and lock into the most beautiful harmony, you know, a cappella. And uh, we grew up with that, you know. I mean, it's just uh, everybody wanted their chance at the at the Such center of the room, story. you know. Wow. Yeah. And let me ask you, Gail, as we talk about our generation today, um, and you're at the Overtones family table, I guess we could call it. <laughs> um, what have you learned from Tripp, both personally and professionally, over the years? What have I learned from him? Yes. 
Anytime you are anywhere, you are 100%. That's what I've learned from Tripp. It's a great thought. And Tripp, what have you learned from your mother's generation and also growing up with her? Well, one of the things about my mom that I've never quite been able to do myself is just she makes friends at the drop of a hat. Like, I'll drop her off at, you know, we'll be driving, and we'll like, oh, let's pull up this coffee shop, and I'll dr- let her get out, and I'll go park. By the time I'm in there, she's already made friends with half the room. I go in there, and it's like, oh, you know these people? No, I just met them, and, and all that. And so she is just so wonderful with people, and she just makes friends, and is so trusting. I mean, she lived in New York City, Manhattan, for all those years, and still she just trusts everybody, and, and she just makes friends, and it's so easy. She just feels like best friends with, with somebody five minutes after they meet. And I just wish I could have, have oh, I wish I could do better nice. at that. But I think, I think an element of that has made me maybe a better teacher. Oh, Because, so, I mean, you know, I'm not quite as uh, gregarious or whatever yeah. as you are. But I, have, I think I did pick up that feeling of being yeah. with everybody. And, you got me a clap. There we go. I wanted to one-up mom. This song's from the 19-teens. She likes to do the 30s and 40s music. I'm going to do something even older. <laughs> Xylophone master George Hamilton Green did this yeah. back in the vaudeville days. Oh, wow. Log Cabin Blues. Vaudeville. <laughs> play something else for us I'll, right yeah this is a little more up what I do regularly okay um, this is a I'm gonna play a little djembe and uh, you know mom mentioned that I have traveled a little bit um, I went to Suriname in 2003 with Aminata um, Baruti who's a wonderful dancer she was involved with syncopating that I mentioned earlier she's now in uh, in the, the Netherlands but she's from Suriname I went there with her and we have it we had a dance group and we did this exchange program where we would teach them some of the stuff that we knew and they would teach us some of their local traditional music. So I'm gonna do a little piece here. Uh, this is uh, from Suriname, it's called Isa. <laughs> Mommy, not a joke. When I saw you in a bed, 
Yeah. Wow. We are we just had such a musical treat here, haven't we? And we have much more and we will return after the break. <laughs> 